Dan Kamish, everyone is uh, on such a learning process. What have you learned from this Donington weekend so far? Uh, yeah, early days, Steve, but yeah, we're definitely, um, you know, like you say, every team down this pit lane is is learning all the time with this new hybrid system. Uh, we've had a good first run out. Um, you know, there's, there's a little bit to learn in where to use it and how to use it. So you're always looking for the, you know, it's fractions, it's small gains. Um, it's actually not quite as powerful, we're finding, as probably when we came here testing. Um, Cosworth are constantly tuning it to what they want to get out of it uh, and what the championship wants out of it. Um, so I think we've, we've they've dialed it back ever so slightly. Uh, obviously, they felt it may be too powerful. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's going to have the desired effect, but it's just managing exactly what they want out of it. Um, but so far, so good. Me and Ash have had a good first session, so we'll we'll try and pick it up in the, in the second one. And when this opportunity alongside Ash and within the team arose, how excited were you, and what's been the reality of the last few months? Well, it's funny really, because he it was the other way around. He came alongside me. I was already there, so it was um, it was quite funny actually. I, I, you know, it was Ash that actually originally kind of put my name forward for the drive to, to Pete Osborne. Um, you know, Pete was looking for who, who might be the right guy and, and Ash was quite happy where he was or certainly doing his own thing at that point. And he said, you know, you should give Dan a call and, and you know, because he's, he's, um, he's the guy I'd be looking to. So, you know, thanks for Ash for that. I ended up in the team and then, um, and then Ash came in as well. So yeah, between us, uh, you know, I think we're going to work really well together. We have a good relationship. Um, we're trying as best to push the whole team forward, you know, not just the Napa Racing UK side, but the whole motor-based team. Um, yeah, you know, the team's great. We're, we're very happy at the moment. Um, long may it continue. Um, it's, it's sort of regarded, people are describing it as a, as a kind of super team, and uh, there is an element of that about it. Yeah, there is, and I, I like that. You know, I think it's great. You know, you look, you look around the paddock, you know, the, the, what Napa have done in such a short space of time, you know, it's, it elevates the whole paddock in, in the way it looks and the, and the professionalism of it, you know, looking next door to BMW, and, you know, they bring such a fantastic infrastructure as well. And, if it forces other teams down the pit lane to up it as well, that can only be a good thing for the championship. And when you get to the point where me and Ash are here to, you know, very much to do a job and, and we have the means to do that, um, hopefully other teams are going to have to find a way to match that. And you'd kind of hope that the whole thing starts to uh, take an upward step. You know, maybe not back to the, the true Super Tory days, but um, the more professional we can make it, the better it is for everyone. You're both sort of at the pinnacle. I assume there's not a great deal you can learn from each other, but if, if you are going to look at the two of you, I mean, Ash is the great racer. You're always regarded as the great qualifier. Yeah, and, and, uh, yeah I think so. It's a sort of complimentary yeah, relationship. Yeah, it is, there. and that's, it's funny, you know, I think when we did the initially sort of sat together and we did a little bit of piece of camera stuff, Ash, you know, pretty much said, you know, I think Dan's, Dan might have me over the one lap, you know, and that was, you know, he's big enough to say that. And, and I'm big enough to say that he's a fantastic racing driver. You know, I don't think, I don't think anyone comes through the grid quite like Ash Sutton can. So, um, you know, if we can push each other forward over one lap at the qualifying pace, and if I can pick up a few tricks of how to come through the field, then I think we'll be a formidable partnership. So, uh, yeah, we're both coming at it. Different championship wins in, in different series for both of us, but um, like you say, we, we've both been around the block a few times. Uh, we've both got something to offer, and yeah, it's a uh, it's a it's a real positive feeling being here. How important for you is that extra bit of front wheel drive experience? Um, you know what? I don't think I was out of it long enough to to really lose it. You know, I did that one race last year for BTC and had a really good day and. Yes, I went back to race a Porsche, but my memory bank was still very much full of the front-wheel drive experience that I had from the, from the Honda days. So, um, yeah, at the moment, it's kind of come back to me. I think I'm still a little bit in Porsche mode in certain places. It's kind of a different driving style in certain aspects. Ash, as much as he hasn't driven them in anger in a while, he, he, you know, he's, his ability is, is beyond question. You know, he can, he can dip in and out of it as he pleases. Um, I think he did the occasional TCR race a couple of years ago, and I think he won that as well. So he's, uh, you know, a fantastic racing driver. and. Yeah, I think both of us have kind of got our heads around it pretty quickly. What's going to happen in this qualifying session? Any idea at all? Uh, I'm intrigued. I don't think, you know, BMW didn't seem quite there in practice one, but it's a lot to read into practice one. You know, we don't know what they're doing and how they're going to structure it. I think they've been kind of the, they've been the benchmark in testing. Will that carry over? I'm interested to see. And then I think there's a, there's a bit of a bunch behind. I think you could really throw a net over myself and Ash. Um, you know, the Hondas, the dynamics ought to be up there. Ingram's just put in a fantastic lap. Yes. I think that yeah. was, that's a good lap. That you know, I, I don't. If he's much faster than that, I'll be, I'll be intrigued. So, I think there's, a, there's quite a few guys that you know, there's a top ten in this championship, if not, if not more, that are going to win races this year yeah. and can even challenge for the title. What a season it's going to be. Great yeah. to have you in it. Cheers. Thank you.